Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier today, I posted about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 26058 that rolled out recently for the Canary and Dev Channel Insiders. And one of the new features, as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, is that it included a new mouse pointer indicator for low vision users as part of an accessibility option and accessibility options that Microsoft is testing in build 26058 and as the name implies it just makes seeing your mouse if you have low vision a lot uh, easier to do and if we head into the settings uh, you can toggle the feature on and off and you can also choose different colors that you would actually like to make that actual mouse point indicator now as i mentioned earlier today it looks a little bit like a sniper sight and really zones in on your mouse so could be beneficial especially maybe if you have poor eyesight now just to let you know that this actually isn't a new feature this feature has been around now for quite some time in microsoft power toys which is a, a utility app basically um, for power users to customize and streamline um, different features in windows 10 and windows 11 and power toys as you may well know if you view this channel is available from the microsoft store for both windows 10 and windows 11. Now the feature I'm talking about is the mouse pointer crosshairs which uh, that says draw crosshairs centered on the mouse pointer and this as mentioned has been around previously in power toys and just to show you how this all works if we use the windows alt and p key you'll see a windows alt p key on your keyboard there we go and this is exactly the same feature that microsoft is now testing in the latest Canary and Dev Channel build 26058. So not really a brand new feature. And they've taken one out of the Power Toys book now. And this may become a feature that will roll out in the annual Windows 11 24H2 feature update that's expected to start rolling out uh, in September, October later this year. So in effect, it basically feels like for this feature, Power Toys has been the test or the dev area um, before Microsoft now has officially rolled it out to uh, the Insider program for testing. And if we can just turn this off quickly, Windows Alt and P, there we go. And if we head back to Power Toys, Power Toys does get a lot of brand new utilities on a regular basis as I have posted on this channel. As you can see, quite a lot going on with different utilities that aren't available by default uh, in the Windows OS. So... Um, maybe this is a place where Microsoft tests features, <laughs> so, to, so to speak, is a dev playground where they test features and then um, they can start pushing them out into the insider program and see if they are any, are basically of benefit to become actual default features that would possibly roll out to the stable version uh, in the future. But nonetheless, um, Power Toys, I do feel, is a handy app. Personally, I only use two utilities in power toys so there is a lot of overkill but nonetheless one or two of these features are, are very handy but there we go mouse pointer crosshairs as mentioned not really a brand new feature but has been available in power toys and this now is being tested in the latest canary and dev channel build so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one